times when I'm alone, all by myself, I get flashbacks of my professional journey. I'm a young boy, typical Bengali middle class, fun loving, a lot into sports, music. My father used to read the newspaper over his cup of tea and Mari biscuits. And once he was done, I would pick up the paper and I was intrigued by those two middle pages, wherein in the tiniest fonts possible, I could see names of various companies and some price data. It intrigued me. I was wondering, what is this all about? And how does these prices and numbers will change the next day? That was the first spark my interest in financial markets. I still remember the elders telling me, don't get into this market. This is nothing but gambling. But somehow, I knew deep inside that there is a calling. I managed a job in Kotak Securities PCG desk here in Calcutta. The job was primarily into sales and I used to meet many prospective clients and discuss stock market with them. My early days interest, curiosity got a fresh spark. Soon I realized that there's much more to it than selling PMS products to prospective clients. I resigned within just six months and I had a grand plan for myself. After leaving the Kotak Securities job, I landed myself in the city of Mumbai, the city of dreams. I still remember one evening, I was passing through South Mumbai, the back of a car, and at a distance, I could see the BAC Stock Exchange building lit up. I got a feeling, it's a strange kind of a feeling. And I knew then, right then, that I'm at the right place and hopefully at the right time. I kept trying to get a job in the field of technical research and soon in MK Shares and Stockbrokers, June 15th, 2005, officially I started my journey as a technical research associate. Fast forward to 2009, I'm the AVP with Brick Securities. I'm still into technical research. I have a small team and doing some good quality research work. Brick Securities was going on fine. But then I decided to resign, leave the city, go back to my hometown and start on my own. I always wanted to set up my own company, focus on advisory and fund management. And so I took this big risk. So mid 2013, I'm back to where I started my journey and I started my own company. It started off well, but within the next one and a half to two years, everything fell apart. We're not going to talk about why it fell apart, but the important thing from here on was, it was a big failure. Not just from my dreams and ambitions point of view, but to set up this company, I had almost exhausted all my savings. This meant I have to recoup myself, recover, and start from the very beginning. So I started to trade for myself only now. Trainings picked up. This is where I became a very active faculty with National Stock Exchange. I met our very own Vivek Bajaj. My interaction with Stockage, with Elon Markets started. It's been a beautiful journey since then. And many people have played important pivotal roles in my career. Vivek is definitely one of them. I cannot think of anyone who would share with us that he or she has not tasted failure in their journey. So failures are part of the process, but what's not part of the process is accepting it. Understand it, recover, recoup yourself, and bounce back. So I hope you enjoyed my stories. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and make your own.